Item number SCP-1575 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures SCP-1575 is be held in a 6m x 6m x 4m containment chamber at Biosite-23, with direct access to Research Laboratory-3 at same. Except when in use for testing, no water is to be allowed in the SCP-1575's containment, and after testing, all water used is to be held in quarantine for use in further tests. SCP-1575 is a marble statue, standing approximately 2.75 meters high, with an additional base of 0.5 meters. The statue is a depiction of Venus, Roman goddess of love, beauty, fertility, and seduction, clad only in wrappings from the waist downwards. The statue acts as a fountainhead. Damage to the base shows that it was likely intended as a permanent installation, with a single channel running from underneath the base up through a hole in the mouth. SCP-1575 shows no anomalous properties on its own, nor do samples removed from the hole. An inscription on the base partially obscured by the above-mentioned damage indicates it to have been sculpted in the early 16th century for a private collection in Italy. Any otherwise fresh water which is allowed to pour through SCP-1575 in its nature as a fountain, henceforth referred to as SCP-1575-1, is shown to have mutagenic properties when consumed or otherwise introduced into a body. External application, including long-term submergence, does not trigger a mutation. Non-human mammalian creatures who consume at least 0.5 liters of SCP-1575-1 daily will begin mutating into a human being over the course of roughly one month, with ethnicity roughly in accordance with humans native to the species' natural habitats. For example, a European deer will have primarily Caucasian features post-mutation, while a North American deer will have features like those of Native Americans. Curiously, most modern breeds of dogs and cats will have indistinct or mixed racial features. Survivors of this process describe it as extremely painful, and it has an approximate 25% fatality rate for females. Males experience a 95% fatality rate, with most survivors having an androgynous appearance with non-functional or completely missing genitalia. Additionally, there is a 40% chance that the animal will retain one or more pre-mutation features, such as fur, paws instead of hands and or feet, a tail, non-human ears, etc. The final apparent age of the subject is normally in accordance to the stage of life that the creature involved, prepubescent, adolescent, adult, elderly. It should be noticed that cases where the subject is gaining or losing a significant amount of mass, appetites and bodily functions will shift to match. Please see the attached testing logs for specific information. After a successful mutation is completed, subjects normally display an intelligence level typical for what is considered average for their species. Several subjects have shown a somewhat increased capacity for problem-solving that is considered normal for their species. Whether this is due to neural reconstructuring or a byproduct of Foundation testing is currently unknown. Many subjects which develop proper vocal cords are able to learn to speak, but typically only with rudimentary phrases of basic needs, such as food, sleep, play, etc. Similarly, most subjects are able to achieve full mobility within two to four weeks of stabilization, though manual dexterity takes far longer to perfect if the original species had simple paws or hooves. SCP-1575-1 does not have any notable effect on a creature's personality, memories, or instincts. All carry over from the individual animal's existing self despite drastic reconstructuring of the brain. Domesticated animals typically retain previous levels of affection for humans, though the physical and mental trauma of the mutation process often leads to cases of depression and other psychological issues. Humans have not been observed to experience any notable effects when ingesting SCP-1575-1. Non-mammalian creatures will mutate, but due to significant physiological differences, they will have a 99.9% .9 fatality rate due to the drastic and incongruous physiological differences. Only two non-mammalian mutations were known to have stabilized. Neither had completely changed to a human form, and both were euthanized after brief study. Addendum 1575-1 SCP-1575 was recovered from a facility named The Miracle Farm, previously owned and operated by Marshall, Carter, and Dark. The stated goal of the facility was to present our clients with the finest in custom-ordered pets, prey, and companions. Mobile Task Force Theta-2 was able to secure the facility. 
on-hand personnel, attending clients, and living specimens in various stages of mutation. Only specimens were deemed fit for transportation and study, all others euthanized on site. Foreign personnel and clients were detained for questioning, then given Class A amnesics and released. A cover story of a runaway fire was implanted in their memories before release to explain the destruction of their facility. According to obtained records, at least specimens were known to have been in possession of clients of Marshall, Carter, and Dark. Mobile Task Force Theta 2's current mission is to track down and recover or destroy said specimens. Thus far, have been accounted for. Addendum 1575-2 Select Testing Logs Test 1575-2 Subject Female Japanese Field Mice Epidemus Argentius Adolescent Result Subject expired after 12 days. Cause of death determined to be due to overall body size increasing faster than the cardiovascular system was able to supply. Notes. Subject had undergone a 500% increase in overall size, measuring approximately 1.01 meters. Subject had been observed consuming nearly 95% total body weight per day before expiration. Test 1575-4 Subject Male white-tailed deer Odicoileus virginianus Preadolescent Result Partial transformation Stabilized after 30 days Notes during mutation, subject suffered severe hemorrhaging in the pelvic area, reproductive organs atrophied, rendered asexual by end of mutation cycle. Subject maintained tail and base for antlers, however antlers do not grow beyond nubs, typical of yearling bucks. Subject's final appearance androgynous but otherwise typical of eastern seaboard Native American. Test 1575-6 Subject Female Bengal Tiger Panthera tigris tigris, adult. Result. Subject expired after four days due to cardiac arrest and failure of liver and kidneys. Note, due to the subject's aggressive nature, it was kept sedated during examination. It is believed that the sedatives disrupted the normal mutation process and caused the organ failure. Future subjects not to receive sedatives unless at 80% stabilized. Test 1575-9 Subject Female domestic canine, Canis lupus familiaris, of mixed breed, adult. Result: Experiment aborted after six days. Notes: Subject was discovered to have a significant flea infestation as well as intestinal parasites. Said parasites were all affected by SCP-1575-1. Testing procedures updated. Doctor sent notice to all staff working with SCP-1575. Test 1575-12 Subject Hyacinth Macaw Enderhenches Hyacinthius Preadolescent Result Subject expired for 20 days. Cause of death determined to be internal injuries suffered from extensive bone fractures. Notes. It appears that in this case, the subject's skeleton was not able to change at such a speed as to match the rest of the body. Differing muscle functions and the stresses of the mutation caused over 60% of the skeletal structure to break in various manners. Curiously, the extremities of the wings had already begun to split and appeared to have been forming into crude hand analogs. Test 1575-15 Subject Female Grizzly Bear Ursus Arctos Horribilis Adult Result. Mutation complete. Stabilized after 32 days. Notes. Subject did not consume any food or drink besides SCP-1575-1 during the first 29 days of mutation. Subject's excreta shown to contain excessive amounts of organic material, fatty deposits, blood, etc. Test 1575-16 Subject. Female Gravy Zebra Also Imperial Zebra Equus Gravy Adolescent. Result: Partial transformation. Stabilized for 27 days. Notes: Subject's main body, hind legs, and most of its head shifted to human with an appearance of native African, while front legs and jaw structure remained most normal for a zebra. Subject showed extreme distress, difficulty of movement, and impairment while eating. Euthanized after thorough examinations. Addendum 1575-3. Notice from Doctor regarding a minor containment breach involving SCP-1575.
Following the incident on the 12th of this month, during Test 1575-9, any animal to be used in testing with SCP-1575 is to be thoroughly examined for both external and internal parasites. Our initial belief that SCP-1575-1 only affected the primary host was proven wrong. It apparently retains its mutagenic properties, even when ingested secondarily through the host's lower GI tract or bloodstream. We absolutely do not need another instance of half-mutated flea creatures, and the psychologist is having a hard time helping Janet with her nightmares of a seven-foot-long tapeworm with a screaming face tearing out the belly of a dog. Doctor.